Welcome to the DMG Zone. I'm Scott. And I'm Hunter. And we want to thank you for choosing us to watch this video. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Give us a subscribe. If you like the video, jam that thumbs up. And we will see you on the other side. All right, guys, welcome to the DMG Zone. We're going to do uh, just a real short video on port forwarding. It seems that the server manager um, does the port forwarding for some of you and does not do the port forwarding for others. So we've gotten a lot of conflicted results, and um, it's definitely... Uh, I've narrowed it down definitely to the port forwarding issue, which that was an issue for me at first also. So port forwarding, uh, it can get a little complicated, and it's going to be different for everybody that does it. Um, they're going to, it, it's going to depend on your router, but here's, I'm going to give you the very basics of how to get into your router and how to discover where the port forwarding is. So open up your Internet Explorer um internet browser whatever you want to call it um you can do it edge you can do internet explorer you can do firefox you can basically do anything um impartial to chrome just always seems to work for me um you're going to type this into the this box up here it's 192.160 one okay now where did I get that number from okay that might be a totally different thing that I need to do now that I'm thinking about it first type in the to whatever her name is down here and pit CMD which will give you the command prompt okay it's gonna bring you to this screen do type in IP okay let's try that again IP config space forward slash all. Actually, you don't even have to. Okay, I'm going to delete a lot of this stuff out of here, but do you see where it says right here the default gateway? That is where this is the number that I am using. This is my default gateway. This is the number that I'm putting up in here. Now, with that, if the, the, the IP config doesn't work, do IP config forward slash, do the all, you can just do IP config all, and it'll give you a little bit more information, okay? But with that being said, the default gateway, okay, not for that one, default gateway here is still the same thing, default gateway. 192.168.0.1 okay once you write that down you got that you're gonna go to here and you press enter now if you've never been into your router before uh, be careful there's some stuff you can mess up in here but for the most part not um, okay usually if you haven't been in here, the you might have to look up your router to see what the default username and password is. I happen to know mine. Um, usually, it is something like administration, admin, um, password. There's no password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It, it could it could really um, vary on a bunch of different things. Um, I happen to know mine. Get in here. So this is where, and I'm going to blank out a lot of this. This is where you're going to see your setup for your router. Um, this is my wireless router settings. This is the wireless 5 gigahertz router settings. Um, you can see it has basic setup, uh, login settings, obviously where you can change things. I'm not going to dive into this too much, okay? But these tabs up top are what you're going to use, okay? The 
one uh, you're going to look for something that says port forwarding something to do with port you look at this it says static ipv6 you can see that that's not it the land setup um this one says ports but it, you can see it's just selecting ports there there's nothing in here okay you know it's not going to be your wireless 2.45 gigahertz route router setup um it could be in the firewall okay now here's where it gets a little bit fun and interesting and all that other kind of good stuff okay first look under here now you i found virtual servers port uh, and port triggers check under M um, this thing I don't even know what the hell that was for I don't even know what it I still don't know what it's for okay and then utilities it might be under utilities we're gonna up oh, there it goes of course it, as soon as it so this is the utilities does it say anything about ports trace route no restart router blah 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 no so we're gonna go back to firewall and then it says virtual ports and port triggers uh, this function will allow you to route external internet calls blah 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 port, uh, uh, no that's not going to be it port triggers okay so probably I would have to say it's probably port triggers whoops and I hit delete now like I said the server did this in my uh, the server manager did this in my video so you would probably want to put um, something along the lines of uh, arc and I will put the exact number numbers and ports that are there in the description but I believe uh, I can't remember what port it is right now I think it's 2701 okay so these two are the ones that you're going to want to port forward the 777 and the 27 27015 I was wrong about the 0011 okay let's make me there we go we'll move this out to the other thing so you're just going to want to do 7777 to 7777 and then you do 7777 to 7777 um, you do both add port trigger Okay, then you want to add the other one, arc two. Oh wow, spelled arc real nice on that one too. Twenty seven zero one five to twenty seven zero one five. Gonna do both. Twenty seven zero one five to twenty seven zero one five, and then you're gonna add the port trigger. Okay, my update, my unit is updating. Page is loading. Now, you might have to restart your um, router, which obviously will take everything down and you'll, all that other kind of good stuff. Um, it really depends on your router, but you want to make sure, I will make double check that it is both the UDP and TCP. Um, obviously, if it was um, one or the other all you would do would be like arc three seven 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 TCP if it was TCP and then UDP if it was UDP um, but that's really going to depend on your router itself so that should fix the uh, error message of hold on let me see which error message it was the 
That should say uh, waiting for publication, I believe it was. Now, I'm at a yep. loss. Under the status, it says running. Under availability, it says waiting okay, for publication. We're back again. I'm not really sure um, what happened. That there. seems to um, fix I do that know issue that, that uh, some people have had, other people have gone right through. If you guys uh, have any other questions, I'm going to attach this to. The port, the server manager video. I'm gonna delete these out of here while we're here, and uh, just give me a holler on the comments. Give us a like and a thumbs up. And welcome back. Thanks for watching our video. Pound that thumbs up sign. Give us a subscribe. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook. Check out our Patreon page. But for now, I'm Scott. And I'm Hunter. And we will see you on the other side.